Our first experience raising turkeys was a little disappointing. This turkey seems to be doing all right in here with the uh, with the chickens. Unfortunately, the other two turkeys didn't make it. Why did we get turkeys? It's for Thanksgiving. I was a little surprised when Wendy brought home three turkeys. We certainly don't need three turkeys for Thanksgiving. But Wendy had enough foresight to know that not necessarily all of the turkeys would survive. She also didn't want the turkey to be lonely. Having other turkey companions kind of made sense. It's not just for Thanksgiving, though. We also, we also just wanted to have the experience of raising a new animal that we hadn't done before. They don't bite or nothing? No, they're just little. Oh, no, they're just little dudes. Oh. This is butterball. <laughs> can you tell can you tell that it's already brown? Not yet, not yet. Oh. They're pretty sweet. So we've got three of them and I'm calling them Larry, Co <laughs> no, Mo. Larry, Mo, and Curly. Curly. Oh, he just pooped on me. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> they are sweet though. They really uh, are. This, this, this one is Did so Did they come real. in the mail too? This one is so relaxed. No, we, we got these at a store and, and just even, brought them back. He's even on kind of his side and he's so relaxed. Yeah. It's Cut like a little, comes ears. in like a little lunchbox size, cardboard box kind of, like a Happy Meal. It's <laughs> more or less a Happy Meal, Happy Meal for turkeys. We've moved Larry, Moe, and Curly, our three turkeys, from the plastic bin that was their first brooder out to one of our rabbit tractors. It's a little more room for them, and it's kind of a cute space to, uh, to keep them in. A little more fresh air on the fresh grass. Hope they like it.
we're going to be moving our three turkeys temporarily from this rabbit tractor to our mini cooper with the with the grow out chickens these turkeys are getting a little too big for the rabbit tractor and they could use a little more room the other chickens aren't quite ready to go in with the rest of the chickens in the regular chicken coop so they'll be roommates for a while actually we're only going to be moving two of the turkeys one of them has sort of an injured leg and it's much smaller than the other two turkeys so we'll move the two big turkeys and let the little one hang out in here hopefully it'll uh, have a chance to eat a little more get a little bigger a little stronger and hopefully it'll pull through and be just fine I wanted to come out here during the daytime to show you what I'm doing but we're not going to actually move the turkeys until night Evidently, it's best to move chickens and consolidate flocks at nighttime when the chickens are much more docile. That way, it's less stressful on the birds to introduce them to new to new birds. So we'll we'll be doing that with the two turkeys tonight. We'll be back to see that. Keep filming with that moronic camera on. <laughs> Is it blinking? Yes. And then it's filming. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, you want to get the thing and I'll get the turkeys? Trouble with that or something. This the big one. The other one staying in hospital. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. That's the boy one, I think. Relax. He's got spurs. Yeah, right, let's take a look. See? <laughs> I think those are spurs. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, just get me. Say hello to your new friends. Let's go get the other one so it's not alone. Okay. You're okay. You're doing good. Okay, everybody get along. Oh, I'm sorry I did a turkey. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, the foot looks like it's turned completely the wrong way. Yeah, looks like it's a, it the joint is uh, where we need to work on it. <laughs> Sorry, I have to get I have to get under you. I have to get under you to fix Just this. Just do it, Brian. Stop talking to her. <laughs> she doesn't want you to hold her forever. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. She's not gonna relax. Just do it. <laughs> so it's turn this way. I'm going to try and turn it back. Sorry. You got to pull it the other way too. Yeah. Straighten it out. Okay. I'll just try and do it gently with a little bit of pressure. Hi. Hi. We'll drop it off. All right. Thank you. you hold the turkey? And I'll try to use both my hands. Feel good. I'm 
sorry, baby. <laughs> You're okay. Okay, so this one is nice. And yeah. You can feel, oh. feel how that is. And this is clearly swollen and just stuck in the wrong position. You don't want to break your leg. On this part, mm. Boy, that's uh, yep. Oh, I don't know if it just broke more or if it uh popped a little back in. Just whatever this is. is yeah, that's just a sore. Don't pull on it. Just leave it. I'm afraid that I'm going to break I her think leg. You're pulling it too far, Brian. Okay, this far or this? yeah, twisting. Twist more? Or? No, less. Not, it's not changing at all. Sorry, my legs are a little stiff. There we go. Okay. I'm sorry. Do try to get better. It's not an easy decision, but we have to be responsible for our animals. That, um, that turkey wasn't going to get any better, and it was suffering. I didn't film any of the process, but we did have to put him out of his misery. That's the way things go sometimes when you're homesteading. We've decided to go ahead and move the, the chickens that were in the mini cooper into our chicken coop. We had two turkeys in the mini cooper with them. And last night, somehow that raccoon found its way in there again and killed one of the turkeys. So we're just putting them in the coop. They'll be much safer in there. They're just about the size we wanted them to be when we we're gonna move them anyway, so I think it'll be all right. I'll show you how we're uh, getting the chickens and the one turkey used to their new space. So what we've got here is a little carry cage with our new chickens. We've got them in the, in the chicken coop so that all the chickens can kind of see each other and they get used to the idea of being around each other. And then later tonight, we'll open this cage. I'm gonna move outside where it's a little less noisy. Not quite sure how well you could hear me in there. So later tonight we'll open that cage and let them out in the chicken coop 
At nighttime, all the chickens are more docile, so less apt to pick on each other and less traumatic for the new chickens to uh, get used to their new home running around free in there. Having them in that little cage in there, I think is a nice transition to make it even a little less traumatic for them. Plus, I have to go to work tonight and I wasn't gonna be here to help Wendy move the chickens, so we did it during the day here. She can open that cage, no problem. What's that? I know it's clearly posted. Did you ever think maybe you should be a little more tolerant of birds of a different feather? Speaking of birds of a different feather, our lone musketeer here will have to put up with a few characters. I'll point out a few. Ha, 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 ha. 